And they've been singing uh, off and on the national anthem for the volleyball games and the basketball games and soccer games. These gentlemen, because of their distinction, I've given them some tough material to work. And this particular song is written by Edward Reed, and the name of it is Brothers Sing On. The unfortunate thing is, today, one of our bassists, while at knowledge here, Michael Dye, has unfortunately come down with a severe cold and a swelled throat. So, in this place, I will be singing the bass part, and God help you. So, <laughs> This particular song is about gentlemen doing their thing, singing a swelling song, almost like a sea shanty. So let's begin. Mm -hmm. Come and let a swelling song come like the whirling breeze, as it beats a singing from so blind a part.
song is not just about memory, but about love and memory. One of the most strange and wonderful things upon this earth. Somebody, a few years ago, one of my friends unfortunately had his mother pass away. But he kept a picture of her in his wallet, remembering always that she had put such an impression on his heart that nothing could hurt it. This particular song is from the Psalms. Set me as a seal upon your heart, even as a seal upon your palm. For love is as strong as death. Many waters cannot drown it, cannot quench it, neither can the flood drown it. When somebody makes a seal, especially in the older days when people used to seal letters, the wax impression stayed. And even when it was removed, there was a stain with the exact setting of the seal. So it never washed off until the paper was destroyed. This is an eternal thing. And so today, the range of voices will present Renee Clausen's version of Set Me as a Seal, a classic among courses. <laughs> And even though this is a heavy verse, 
Jester Harrison pretty much sums up the tension that one might feel, the urgency. And so today's version of Poor Bad Lazarus was conceived with the very notion of, watch yourself, not everything is from we do. We can all learn a lesson from being tormented in the play. Poor man, last we're sick and disabled. Did you think we're in the water coming to cool and tell us I'm tormented to play? He had to eat crumbs from the rich man's table. Did you think we're in the water coming to cool and tell us I'm tormented to play? I'm tormented to play. I'm tormented to play. Did you think we're in the water coming to cool and tell us I'm tormented to play? Rich man, did he see this so well? Did you think we're in the water coming to cool and tell us I'm tormented to play? And when he died, he went straight to hell. Did you think that the water coming to cool my tongue as I'm tormented in the flame? I'm tormented in the flame. I'm tormented in the flame. Did you think that the water coming to cool my tongue as I'm tormented in the flame? I love to shout. I love to sing. Did you think that the water coming to cool my tongue as I'm tormented in the flame? I love to praise my heavenly king. Did you think that the water coming to cool my tongue as I'm tormented in the I'm tormented in the flame. I'm tormented in the flame. If you think you're in the water coming, if 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 you're in the water coming, if
And they, they represent a bit more of a spirit of what choir music, what it attracts people to choir music in the first place. The first one, however, started in the 16th century. The gentleman's name was Thomas Morley, and the song we're performing here was called Now is the Month of May, which is kind of nice because outside it's not really the month of May, is it? It's nice and cool out there. So please enjoy the rendition of Now is the Month. So I hope that you enjoy this little rendering and hope that we can see you again. <laughs> <laughs> 